Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. As a massage therapist, I see the same issues over and over again in my clients. So I put together this pain relief program to help ease pain, prevent pain, and overall just really gently address the inflexibilities that are at the root of a lot of these issues. In this video, we'll be looking at the front of the hips, the hip flexors, especially the psoas. This is a really big muscle that is the culprit for a lot of pain issues, especially when it comes to our shoulders and low backs. You can watch the full program over at wellnessplus.tv or with your Amazon Prime for free. And all of these links are in the description for your convenience. So we're going to be playing with the low lunge. I highly recommend for everyone that you pull out a towel or a blanket and use it to pad your knee. This is an absolute must if you have any sort of knee pain and issues, but for though, even for those of us who don't, let's, you know, just, let's just be gentle with our knees. And so you just want enough padding so that you feel comfortable. Uh, I have folded a regular bath towel in thirds. All right. In order to address the muscles on the fronts of the hips, you know, so it's really just, it's this whole area right here. What we'll be doing is the same movement in two different ways. So for the first, the first stretch we're gonna do, we're imagining train tracks, right? So one knee, the other leg is, and the other leg is gonna come forward. And um, I'll just come back into neutral. So like my knees, there's not gonna be a lot of space between my legs. My, my knees are gonna be pretty close together, maybe a little bit under hip width apart. So go ahead and come forward and I'll show you on this side first. So before we do any lunging, press your uh, shin into the floor. And so you're feeling your knee and then let's move our attention up into the hip and then into the shoulder. So there's a line, right? There's a line of energy going from the bottom of our knee up into our shoulder. And so this actually might be enough of a stretch for you, right? If, um, if you are feeling a lot of pulling around the joints, that's what we want to avoid. We're looking for more of a stretch in the bellies of these muscles. But if you start feeling like sharp pain around your knee, then you wanna um, just go ahead and back out a little bit. All right, so. We're gonna come forward just a little bit, really gently. So notice how my hips and my spine stay pretty straight. I'm not, we're not trying to bend. What we're really trying to do is get this line. This is where we want the movement. So you can kind of, you know, just walk your, um, your bent leg, walk that foot in and out just so that you feel comfortable. I'm gonna go really slow. Actually, my knee feels a little bit funky, so I'm going to adjust my padding. Let's see. It feels a little bit better. And you can even bend your toes if that offers a little bit more stabilization and so we're going really slowly um, try to incorporate your breathing so inhaling as you come forward okay yeah so that's good I'm feeling it like right here coming back into neutral inhaling exhaling Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. And so the thing to remember is that each side of our body, especially in our hips, is, is different. There's, there, there's some natural asymmetry that happens. And so what that means is that each side might feel really different. And so you might need to modify differently for each side. So like for this side, I'm 
I just knew that I had to bend my toes for a little bit of extra support just because I think this side is a little bit tighter on me. Um, let's see. My hips up, I wanna like keep your hips level. And again, let's push our leg into the bottom of the floor. Push the bottom of our leg into the floor. Feel the knee, hip, shoulder. And again, even coming forward a little bit, just a, just a touch, I can start feeling the stretch. And so depending on where you're at, you might, this might be just enough. And you can kind of play with your hips and your, the standing leg and your bent knee and just kind of find, find that place where you start, start feeling a little bit of stretch. And then once you find that place, then try to bring your hips forward with, while, while bending this knee. So now that you've seen what we're going to do, I'm gonna come back to neutral and we'll do, I'll just break it down a little bit more. So from kneeling, you want to engage your, the bottoms of your legs and your feet where they meet the floor. We're just gonna step forward nice and comfortably. So how does your knee feel? Is your knee comfortable? Kind of maybe rock back and forth just a little bit. And one thing that you can do is try to almost come down on to as much of the top of your knee as possible. So instead of, you know, it's, it's really subtle. So like before I'm like this, and then I'm gonna lift up a little bit, almost kind of drag my thigh forward, and then rock back onto my knee so that my weight is a little bit more on the top of my knee rather than here at the, you know, here towards where that, that tendon is. And that also, you know, cause you're pulling, you're creating a little bit more tension down, down on your thigh, which is what we want. We want to be engaging and stretching out this part right here. All right. Your knee is good. Let's find a place for your foot. You know, because again, we want to stay fairly, fairly even on the train tracks, but we also, I also don't want you to be so narrow that you lose stability like this. Ah, oh, don't do that. All right. So my foot feels good. My knee feels good. And let's see. Let's do that again. All right. And so I'm engaging my foot into the floor. Depending on your body, you might, again, want to you know, bend your toes for a little bit more of support, support and stability. And then again, this might be as far as you go. And it also might look completely different from me. If you're good here, maybe take a few breaths. Because you can probably still, like if you're really like engaging, pushing your foot into the floor, Like even the little bit of tension into, the, you know, the, if you're kind of pushing even to the little bit, you can pro you'll probably be able to feel the stretch. So let's just inhale. So number three, check out the alignment of your hips. A lot of times people will have the, the hip with the bent knee, have that lifted up. We want to bring, we want our hips not like this, we want them like this. So there is an, a little bit of a dropping down of this other, of this other hip. All right, so then number four, engage your core, keep your back straight. And then we're going to, as we move into step five, which is moving forward, the movement is coming from the hips and the knees. Ah. And so this is one of those, this is the type of exercise that you can do just a little bit and still get good results. And especially given the impact on our knees, that might be all we really want to do. So let's go ahead and try the modification and I'll run you through that checklist again. So here we are. Okay, I'm feeling into my knee. 
Number one, how's my foot? Number two, number three, let's see. Let's see, you know, this is, it's, it's probably gonna feel pretty awkward, right? We're putting our body into a position that it's not normally used to, which is, and you know, the reason why is to get results that we don't normally get from our regular movements. But it, you know, it's really okay if it feels super awkward or if you don't look like, look like, if your body isn't making the same shape that my body's making. All right. So, leg and floor are engaged. My knee is comfortable. This foot feels good. My hips are in alignment. And now for the second modification. You're going to move the knee that you're standing on out to the side by about one to three inches. It was actually maybe a little bit closer to four, but um, let me see, I'm gonna bring that in just a little bit. So it's fairly subtle, but what this does is we are going to now access a whole other completely different part of the hip flexors. Ah, which I can really feel. All right, so my belly's engaged. <sighs> Spine is straight, and now I'm gonna just very gently, from my knees, from my knee and my hip, I'm going to move forward. And I can feel the stretch in the belly of this muscle. My knee feels good, my hip joints feel good. Inhale, gauge my core, and come back. All right, back to center. Let's try that on the other side with the modification. All right, so leg forward. Oops. Okay, let's make sure that my, this knee feels good. This foot is nice and grounded. Hip alignment. Now, I'm going to just move my knee out a few inches. Sorry, Sophia. Sorry, not sorry. And so again, and then maybe check your hip alignment again. And so this might be plenty. You might be feeling plenty of stretch just from making this shape, right? If you want a little bit more though, let's inhale and just gently move forward by bending our knee. So I'm gonna inhale, bring my shoulders back. Come forward a little bit more. And even here in the stretch, if I want to try and get a little bit more out of it, I'm gonna, I can come back to those basics. Feel the bottom of my foot against the floor. How does this foot feel? I check my hip alignment and then come forward a little bit more. There we go. Inhaling back. So this is, these, this is a pretty simple but powerful stretch that you can do that will pair really well with the hip circles video where I go into a little bit more in how to open up the hips. Um, but I think that adding this, this exercise, you're going to just move a little bit more deeply into such common pain culprits um, in the hip flexors. So this video will pair really well with the hip circle protocol because this will be addressing a slightly, this will be more intensely addressing a part of the hips that the hip circles will just be addressing somewhat moderately. And, you know, being able to have a way to stretch out your psoas is just so vitally important. This is gonna be excellent for people who drive a lot, who are sitting a lot, and um, you know, you saw how, you see how short this video is. This is something that you can do pretty easily and quickly once you understand just the structural piece. So again, hip circles video, go nice and easy, be really gentle with yourself, and this is part of a full series, so for the best results, I recommend checking out the other videos in this program. 
which you can find over at wellnessplus.tv or for free with Amazon Prime. And all of these links are below the video in the description. It has been an honor working with you and I really look forward to seeing you again soon.